All right, what's good? We got TD Presents. You feel me? Uh, apparently, he responded to Zach's video that we watched yesterday, so let's get into this. Video so blurry, man. Come on. So that claim literally makes no sense. So the first claim that Zach makes is that he didn't know or it wasn't a group discussion that I was invited to live in a new house. At the end of the day, this is all hearsay for both me and Zach. So you guys have to make your own decision or what you think about truth. Or you can believe, you know, both of us or neither of us. Whatever you guys want to do. My only reaction to that is the only time I ever stepped away from the group was to go take care of my mom. Once I got that taken care of, I then moved back to California. The reason why I didn't move back into the house was because James moved into it, so there was no rooms available. I had a face-to-face -face conversation. I was told about the plan. All right. Like I said yesterday, I can't believe if that's her or not because I ain't never seen her so... Ooh. 
Oh yeah, with them ro- Bruh, how do you have that many roaches? Oh yeah, let's see let's see this. This is another blatant lie. First off, the only two things in that weight room that used to be yours are this bench right here and these two dumbbells over here. Both of which you left at the old house even after you moved back to California and could have easily got them. You never asked for them back, and when the lease was up, you never came to get them. You just left them there for us to deal with. Zach is saying the only two things in that room were the bench and the weights. Now, I'll put it up on screen. Even just the bench and those weights, those go for a lot. That might not be the exact model up on screen, but it's pretty darn close, and you guys get a good idea. An argument Zach makes is that all I had to do was ask for these things back, but that's why I said I wish the full Discord call did get leaked. Because pretty much the end of that call was me asking how I was going to get my stuff back. The only one you came to get was this rocket poster that you have hanging on your wall now. And here's the messages between us to prove that. When you came to get it, you literally said you didn't want the other posters because you were going to get new ones. But you were unable to find another rocket poster like you say here in the text. So that's the only one you took. You could have gotten the rest of your stuff too, but you didn't. He does put up on screen text of me asking for the Rocket Raccoon poster back. Now, if you guys look at the text, this was from October of 2018. I didn't get kicked out until six months later. At this time, I had no problem that they were using my stuff. And in fact, you see the next text I put is me. Bro. I didn't even see the date when I reacted to it. Oh my gosh. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, Z yo, Zach really tried to lie, bro. Bro, this is getting crazy. Be asking if he already had taken that poster down because I didn't want to take anything that were up on his walls, even if they were mine. And we actually had a conversation that there's no point in me taking all my stuff because, again, the plan was for me to move to a bigger house, so they're just gonna hang on to my stuff and it was gonna be there for me. As a matter of fact. I was still in charge of handling, you know, the electric side of utilities until they kicked me out. And I was still making sure that utilities were being paid. There was even times where they would text me and be like, hey, TD, our water isn't on today. What's going on? I'm trying to figure out what's happening because I paid the water bill. Well, you need to get an annual water test in California. I'm across the country taking care of my mom and still doing things like this to help the group out. While I appreciate what you did, bro, nobody asked you to do it. All you had to do was call the utility companies, tell them you didn't live there anymore and take it out of your name, then one of us would have to call them and put it in our name. And here are the messages of Chris and I handling the water situation, not you. In that clip, Zach says I should have just asked them to take the utilities out of my name. I want to make it clear, and I said this in my... If you date, you could be in hell with toxic metals into your lungs. To show how scary that is, we made metal monsters. But nothing is as scary as the facts. They think can deliver toxic metals like nickel and lead into your lungs. My first video, the reason why I brought these things up is because there are baseless claims that I wasn't pulling my own weight. I had no problem doing this for you guys, even when I was across the country. The reason why I brought it up was to shut that narrative down. Now, Zach does go on to say that I could have just said, hey, I want this out of my name, but there's a whole process that goes into, you know, getting utilities out of your name and putting it in somebody else's name. You can't just switch it into somebody's name. Everybody has to have a separate account. So they would actually have to go to the house, shut off the electricity, shut off the water, and then put it in Chris's name and turn everything back on. It's a little bit of a process. Since I was still in the group, that kind of seemed like too much of a headache. So I had no problem still doing those things. Again, the reason why I brought it up was to get rid of that narrative that I wasn't pulling my own way. Zach then said that he and Chris had to deal with the water situation. So Bree contacted me and she said the water was on. I then reached out to the landlord and I spent time even trying to contact the water company. And that's how he figured out what was going on. Here are the messages of Chris and I handling the water situation, not you. I did notice Chris sent a text saying that only me and the 
Oh yeah, uh, I seen that. It, it, bro, there is, there is no way you could look at this, bro. This right here literally makes what TD did ten times worse. Like, bro, you just exposed yourself, bro. How how can somebody take this as a joke? Exactly. The tables have turned. No one fucks with you here, bro. That's why you never be on here, bro. You're only on here for for sponsorships and for fucking making money. That's it, bro. All right. We all miss the old Zach, bro. The old Zach. Obviously, everyone misses him. But that's not you anymore, bro. You're a snake, bro. Zach says I put this black box on screen to make it seem like he said something messed up. Zach texts Chris saying, "Dude." He did say something messed up. I just want I just want to know when Zach showed the messages of, of that thing right and they were talking about uh LNU why are you 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 talk, you he out here talking about hypocrisy and stuff how you gonna block out what cash say I wanted to see what cash said bro
Oh yeah, we're, 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 skip that, skip that. We already heard this. It took a whole confrontation for them to, to get their stuff together, bro. Of you is going, it's really mopey is out here tripping because everybody's like got comebacks from mopey. But with TD and Los, it's like nobody can say anything about them because, like, I either they're gonna lie, like Zach just did, he, he, he literally lied, or I don't know, but like, yeah, they can't say nothing about TD and mopey, it's looking like so. It's really going mopey, too hype, TD lows. I like the power scale so far. But yeah, that's it. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching. Peace.